Okay, world makeup. We're going to kind of look at the makeup of this world and reverse engineer it a little bit. First off, know that there is several types of geometry in this world. Well, three, but it feels like several. There are static meshes. Static meshes are like this item here. Okay. And you can move these around using the move tool. And this, to be honest with you, is the best way of learning this engine, is kind of look at how something is constructed. This right here, for example, it has this really cool flow. Well, this would be a really hard part to make in Maya. Well, look at it. It's not one part. It's like four or five separate parts. That's a static mesh. That's a static mesh. And these two are just combined static meshes. Okay, let's look at something else. Maybe this bridge. Bridge looks really complex. I couldn't even imagine modeling that in Maya. Or could I? That's not too bad to model. Not too bad. Yep, doable. And etc. and so forth. So all just big static meshes. Besides static meshes, there are also two other types. But here, let me show you how to toggle these. Go to show and turn off volumes. Volumes are these purple things that are very annoying to look at. I'll get into volumes later. Now everything looks nice and crisp. Let's go way up high and kind of look down. Okay. Let's toggle off static meshes. Wow. So static meshes consist about maybe 80 to 90% of the world sometimes. The rest of this stuff, this is called BSP. And BSP is for large chunk geometry. It is an acronym in itself. It's not one of the BSP doesn't break down into anything as far as words go. But down below, this is all BSP type of geometry. And BSP geometry cannot be produced in Maya. It is a uh, thing only in the UDK engine. It's really easy to texture because the texture just uh, automatically flows onto it. It tiles quite well. Uh, and, you know, you use BSP. It's, it's rather expensive when it comes down to using it a lot. So, you know, we try to build things out of static meshes if possible. But as far as ground or big large buildings are concerned. Uh, most of those are BSP and then we use static meshes to decorate them. Okay. Let's take off BSP. And we have the third type of geometry, which is terrain. Okay, terrain is a geometry in its own also. It is generated usually by a black and white map but in the Unreal Engine, it has a terrain generator where you can just plop down some new terrain and sculpt it all you want. So it's really kind of cheap compared to what we used to do with terrain a long time ago. Uh, everything is just really easy in the UDK. It, if you came back, if you came from a background, uh, well, let's say just six, eight years ago, um, you would say it, it is pretty amazing how far or how fast we've come. And the UDK is a perfect example of that. Let's go show use defaults and then take and show volumes off. So let's kind of look at one item here. And we'll start this in the next video. Um, I want to break down how to explore this further. Okay, so let's go to the next video and I'll meet you there.